right, so we are back here at the motor. Um, this has kind of been, uh, not, not a challenge, but a battle uh, the whole time I've been working on this thing. Uh, whoever, the, the guy that had it before me, man, uh, I don't know if it was him. Uh, it might have been the guy before him. I don't know. But whoever it was, they, they were messing with things they shouldn't have been messing with. Uh, I've had to redo some of the electrical on the side of the motor, like to, to hook up for the, the, the tilt of the motor and and just trying to trying to get everything back in working order finally i've got it to where you know the motor obviously i could use the trim on it and put it up and down um the uh uh it, it's been it's been interesting try to say the least so but again here we are we're back at the motor um one of the things that i kept telling myself i was like man this motor just seems really really loose um i'm a car guy uh, I love boats. I, I love anything mechanical, but uh, I really enjoyed working on, on cars my entire life. I've, since I was about 14, 15 years old, uh, my parents got me into working on my own vehicles and their vehicles, so it was a lot of fun. So obviously that just carries over. I got my first boat when I was like 15 years old. Uh, it was a little like 15, 16 foot, uh, you know, uh, aluminum John boat, and it had a little old, old Chrysler motor on it from like 1975. So, you know, it doesn't have all it didn't have all the newer stuff so uh, as other people probably be like well duh you know uh, when I when I say this but I never thought of a motor a boat motor having motor mounts you know obviously I know it mounts to the back of the boat it mounts to the transom it's got a massive transom mount on it but I never thought about the actual mount itself and the boat having a motor mount between it to kind of dampen you know it, the the way uh, the way it rides and everything to, and the, the shake from it and all that stuff. Um, come to find out, it does. <laughs> Shocker, I know. Um, so just a little bit about that, man. It, it was it was super loose. The motor I could take and I could pull up and down. It just I was like something just doesn't seem right. So I got doing a little bit more research on it and come to find out, uh, I was looking on boats.net. I was looking at the schematics for uh, the transom area and and come to find out they actually have a you know a, a, there's a, a rubber and metal um, motor mount between there it's got two two big bolts and then each bolt's got a, a cap a cap nut on it um, and uh, yeah so I got looking at it I was like yeah no it is supposed to be tightened down and it is super loose and uh, so what I will I got looking online again um, something I was struggling to really get any details on. This is a 1994 uh, Mercury, um, 115 horsepower, and uh, I couldn't really get like any details on it. I mean, I couldn't even like get a really good close-up uh, picture of, of what the actual mounting area looked like. So uh, I got doing a little bit of research. I found a guy that, that had one video, was taken a little further back, and he just kind of showed you know how to do it but he never really showed a close-up of like what it looks like um so you know and i might be missing some of them i, I don't know i can, obviously can't search the entire internet and go through every video but the ones that i found um and his was kind of helpful it you know gave me a starting point once again but i'm going to get a little bit closer up on this thing so that everybody can see it and um and then you guys can and can see what i've done to kind of tighten everything up and uh and take the wobble uh, the, the the ability to literally just move the whole motor um out of it and uh and now it's just got the nice give like you would have on a regular standard motor mount like say on your on your automo automobile um you know you it, it it uses rubber to dampen the vibration from the motor um but it also holds it really rigid and um so that way you know obviously you don't get the torque of the motor doing you know pulling the whole motor up on one side every time you rev it up or whatever because of broken broken mount so that's where we're at we're going to take a look at it um it's actually down below the water line um and so yeah we're going to take a look at it down here so all right so i've got it up on on the, the transom saver here so um it's it's not really uh anything to have to take um take off but right here so you're gonna see it's got cover here and there's another one on this side right here cover you've got your ground wire here 
and uh, there's actually a ground wire inside here that I'm uh, I'm going to show you here that I've got to actually attach with a uh, a, a little ring to get it to uh, to ground everything out. But uh, so what I ended up doing, so some reason they they had t I had I took this. I'll, I'll take this off in a minute. And I'll show you. They had messed with this in here, and uh, when they had done so, they had removed sp some spacers or whatever were in here because there's a spacer here, in in inside here, and then there's another one on the other side. Um, the but this had so much play in it that this that everything was just loose, and it's not supposed to be like that. This is supposed to be nice and rigid. It's supposed to this this here is is um it, it, it's supposed to not have a lot of a ton of movement in it so inside here i'll show you in just a second inside here there's where the motor mount is it sits in a in a in a block inside here that's then this is all tightened together now you'll see online some of the guys will actually take they'll loosen everything up but they'll take a reciprocating saw because you can't get this bolt out this way the only way to get this bolt inside here this long bolt it's like this long out you take off the cap nut you take a reciprocating saw you cut this then you can actually pull this straight out and then you can actually go and buy new bolts and they and people will thread them they'll actually not thread them they'll, they'll slide them through put the uh, motor mount back in like let's say you get a new motor mount, you put a new motor mount back in, and then you put the nut on this side. So that way you can access it and pull it out and change this out if you have to again uh, in the future. So anyway, but I did not do that, but um, I just thought, you know, I'm gonna do a little video on it <laughs> since, uh, I mean, I never even thought about it and everybody I've talked to was like, yeah, of course. I mean, like, I never even thought about it, man. It wasn't even a, uh, a thought in my head that this would have a motor mount. It's to me, it's a boat motor, it's a, you know, so, but probably dumb on my end, but whatever. So yeah, so I'm going, I'll take these sides off real quick and I'll show you what it is. And it's literally on this, Mer on this Mercury, it's uh, two screws on each side to take the cover plate off. And then it's literally a cap bolt a cap nut. I mean, on each side and then it comes off uh, and then it comes loose. So, but what I did is I got, I got um, the washers here to fill up the gap. Uh, of to make it tight and then tightened everything down. She's nice and tight now. So okay So this is what it looks like When you take off that cover. So now let me let me a little side note here This right here is what this clips into This is a uh, pretty fragile um, metal and uh, during the process the other one was broke off already and then this one uh, during the process of trying to get this thing loose because they were they were been on here for quite some time um, Actually cracked so just be mindful of that try and keep your wrenches away from that Don't do what I did and crack it. So anyway, but the rest of it's fine um, and Yeah, so you can see inside here There's a rubber mount actually. I think it's probably better from this side This is where the rubber starts and inside this area is the metal uh, there's a housing right here that it slides into and that's the dampener so you now have you know it, it, it doesn't allow the motor vibrations to get into the you know uh, boat but it's it's very but it's very rigid very sturdy so um, you can uh, you can see I struggle to really move it a whole ton so um, and that's pretty moving trying to move it quite a bit so anyway yeah, so that's uh, that's where we're at on this side. I'll show you the other side with that broken wire, um, and you want to make sure that everything's grounded out, just like the anything else you're going to do electrical on the boat. But you also, uh, if you don't ground it out, you end up uh, with the electrolysis starting, which is what I think they. This is what you see here, electrolysis. They did not have an anode on here. That's what this is, an anode metal, um, and so you get a lot of pitting. Um, throughout you can see the anode under here which is actually done its job and salvaged you know any pitting from from this and that's what happens when you stick an electrical connection down into water uh, it goes towards the softer metals and if you don't have the softer metal it goes to the next softer metal which would have been this housing and that's why you have the pitting 
because they did not have the anode. So uh, that's why you've got pitting on the motor and not on the actual transom bracket. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna open the other side up and I'll show you that. Okay, so as again, you can see my mind full of this. I did not do this when this one actually was broke prior to me doing anything. Um, but it doesn't affect the mount. It just affects the, the cover that goes on this thing. Uh, it's really more, I guess, for aesthetics than anything, or maybe, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, so there we are. There you go. You see, you got the mount here. Uh, again, you've got the mount, and then you've got this, which if you look in between here, you can actually see there's a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a um, uh, ring that this used to attach to. Uh, and that's a grounding strip. So uh, I'm eventually going to put that back together. Uh, I just didn't actually have the part, but I wanted to get the part, these uh, washers put on. So anyway, so yeah, so that's both sides. One side has the grounding strip where the other side does not. Uh, and obviously this one is then grounded up here to the actual transom mount um, and you know, so on and so forth. So that's where we're at. Yep, so we were just one more thing down. Um, and then uh, she is pretty close to being ready for the water. So I appreciate y'all checking it out. And uh, hopefully this helped somebody out there. Uh, maybe answer a couple questions, give you a close up of what that actually is. If it, you know, the way it's supposed to look tightened down, or whatever. Uh, but I hope it helped out. And I uh, hope y'all keep coming back and checking out the videos. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep posting them as I do them. And uh, as I keep working on the, on the boat and getting it out on the water, uh, I will have one coming up on the steps to uh, actually getting the boat titled um, and we'll go more into that but this one did not come with the proper paperwork and it took a long time so anyway I'll we'll, we'll talk about that later but I hope y'all enjoy the video uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you if you would please and uh, we'll see you on the next video